Shouldn't you be at work? To Sunday. Yeah. Gonna see Mr. Love and Man today. Actually, I thought I might spend the day at home. You mean so you can keep an eye on me? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm not hungry. You need to eat. Why are you making me breakfast? You should be chucking me out. Yes, you're right. I should be. But call me a mug or what will help you? You're a mug? You do want to stop, don't you? Yeah. Right, so then let me help you. How? I'm not seeing some counsellor. We could start by spending more time together. <sighs> Doing wholesome family things. No, just hanging out. <sighs> okay, Mum. There's no milk, she'll go get some. No. For God's sake! You go then. No, it's okay. I'll ring Steve, get him to bring some over. Milk, may at your service. Thank you. This was a carry-on film. You would be wearing a see-through nightie, and you'd invite me upstairs. Sorry, I'm on Ryan Watch. Not mad at me for sucking him, are you? God, no. He did what you had to do. I was hoping it might give him a bit of a jolt. Has it? Well, he says he wants to get clean. To believe him? I think so. I want to. Well, then you got to start trusting him, then. You can't keep him under house arrest all the time. Yeah, I know, but if I can just keep an eye on him for a bit, you know, maybe I can get through to him, push the right buttons. Well, uh, I'll come over later. Keep you company. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Steve, um, I need to ask a favour. No. You don't know what I'm going to ask yet. Still no. I need you to look after Amy this afternoon because I've got a job interview. Really? Yes. At a bar in town. So if you don't mind having your only daughter for a couple of hours, I'd be grateful. Well, yes. Yeah, of course I will. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Well, I'm sure to get it. Yeah, as long as you're the only applicant. Oh, ha, ha, Michelle. Don't give up your day job. At least I've got a day job to give up. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. Amy's got to come first. Ryan's my responsibility, not yours. Mm. See. Mm. Fancy a game or something? I'm watching this. You know you're into cooking. I tell you what, why don't we make some? Invite Steve round for tea and press him. No, thanks. <clears throat> Hello. Get to the bistro in ten minutes. Why? I'm meeting Sid Outry about a new order. He wants you there. What, today? You know what Big Sid's like. No rest for the working man and all that. Look, we need to humour him. <sighs> Can't you handle it? He specifically asked for you. And since your son cost us the chase order on Monday, you owe me. Not this again. I'll see you in ten minutes. <sighs> if you've got to go out, go. I can survive on my own for a bit. Well, <clears throat> why don't you come with me? It's only a meeting at the bistro. I sit around like an idiot. Look, I'm not going to rush off and score. I've got no money for a start, thanks to your boyfriend. I promise. All right, well, <clears throat> I'll be as quick as I can, OK? Bye. Um, I'll have the chicken Caesar salad, mm -hmm. please. And for you, sir? I'll have the steak. Rare to bloody. Diane sauce. After we don't do a Diane sauce, we have peppercorn or Bernays. Well, I want Diane. Make some. Well, we only do what's on the menu, and trust me, our Bernays sauce is as smooth as silk. Couldn't you make an exception, Lewis? Sid is a very important client of ours. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll speak to the chef. And this wine's corked. I'll bring another bottle of my apologies. <laughs> so, Sid, how big an order are we talking about? Well, Let's just say this could be your lucky day. So, are we agreed on 500 batches at 4,000 each? Oi, waiter. You can't call this sauce a Diane. It's a catastrophe. The chef did the best he could. Yeah, well, take it away. As so wishes. My apologies. I'm leaving your messages. Who's this, then? This is my girlfriend, Eva. Pleased to meet you. 
lucky man. <laughs> I thought you might want to hang out. Uh, sorry, hon. Uh, important deals to seal. I think we're pretty much sealed now, though, aren't we, Sid? <laughs> you always were the pushy one. <laughs> well, I'm just a woman who knows what she wants. Never could resist that smile. Mm -hmm. Get the contracts drawn up. Send them over. Excellent. Is it um, OK if I get off? Fine, whatever. <laughs> Goodbye, Michelle. <laughs> Until the next time. Oh, goodbye, Sid. Sorry it took so long, honestly. This client. Ryan? Ryan? the office for half an hour. A couple of calls to me. Oh, our work and no play makes Rob a very dull boy. And a poor one who can't buy his girlfriend lovely presents. Oh, OK. <laughs> Meet you in the Rovers in half an hour? Tops. Cheers, Rita. Ta. Don't worry, we'll find him. I don't even know where to start. Well, if he's got no money, he'll be looking for some, so why don't we check the pawn shop in the precinct? What else has he got left to sell, apart from his guitar? Left any jewellery in the flat? <sighs> Where do you think you're going? I need you to come and look after Amy. Oh, look, Trey, I'm sorry. This is really important. So is my job interview. Yeah, I mean, look, can you not ask somebody else, like your mum? Or... No, because mum's gone to stay with Bev. Dad? He's at the library and he's booked the microfish machine, so he's not going to leave. Well, look, I'm really sorry, but this is an emergency. What is? I can't tell you, but look, trust me, I wouldn't leave you in the lurch unless it was. Hi, this is Ryan. He's been assaulted. Head injury. GCS3. Oh, my God, Ryan! There was an intruder in the factory. I, I didn't know it was Ryan, I swear. You talked to him! Well, he had his hood up. He was going through the pay cash, so I walloped him. Oh, what were you I thinking? Well, someone had broken into my property. Ryan? I have the right to use Ryan. reasonable force. Rubbish! Well, let's Ryan, ask the police, shall we? No, I don't call Ryan. the police. Why not? Because he's just a kid. He's a thieving cokehead who was trying to rob me. Yes. Follow my finger. Any double vision? No. Is it going to be okay? One of my team will assess the wound and dress it for you. Have the police been called? No, 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 no. We don't want to get the police involved, do we? I'd like you to call them. I want to report an assault. What? You were stealing from me. I came in to see my mum. You just attacked me. GBH, I think it's called. Bully, you don't believe him. Why shouldn't I? He was jemmy and opened the cash box. So you say. Oh, come on, Michelle. Do you really believe I just attacked him? Well, it's not like you haven't got motive, is it? <sighs> You've been fuming with him since Monday. You spent half the day telling me how he lost us that client. This is ridiculous. Are you denying it? No, but, but I didn't know it was him, I swear. He's lying to save his skin. Well, Steve, back me up here. It won't be the first time. Look, I'm sorry. I just can't believe that Ryan would lie about something so important. He's got a drug problem. <sighs> He's desperate for money. You know how desperate he is. Even so. Take off the rose-tinted specs. Your son's not Harry Potter. He's Pete Doherty. Excuse me, Mr Donovan. We'd like to talk to you. Whatever he said, it isn't true. If you could come down to the station, please. This is because I've got form, isn't it? You can't charge me. There's no evidence. No one's charging anyone with anything at the moment. We'd just like to talk to you. If I'm done for GBH, and my probation will get revoked, and I'll get sent straight back to prison. Do you want that on your conscience? Do you? Michelle. I know. I know. I just... I just can't believe that Ryan would sink this low. I can't. Right, I'll stick the kettle on. Don't suppose you've got anything stronger? No, the doctor said you're not allowed alcohol. Right, come on, give us that hoodie. I'll stick it in the wash. 
No, it's just cold. That's all right. I'll get you a... These are my factory keys. Yeah, that's, that's why I was there. I was bringing them to you. And you opened my cash tin. You were out to school. I wanted to buy some chocolates to say sorry. Flame me now. This is what I get for trying to be nice. Tell me the truth. Were you robbing the factory? No. Look me in the eye and tell me that. No. I don't believe you. What? Oh, come on, Ryan. Give up. It's over. Why don't you keep your pathetic nose out of it? Hey! He is pathetic. But then you've always gone for blokes like that. Sad losers who you think you can wind round your little finger till they end up dumping you for someone younger and prettier. Oi! Don't talk to her like that. Such a nerve, have I? It's fine. Go on. Turn your back on me. Why break the habit of a lifetime? That's not fair. All this guff about spending time together helping me out. You don't want me around. You never have. All I do is get in the way of you and your newest bloke. That's all you think about. I'm surprised you haven't got a red light outside the front door. You've been itching to do that, haven't you? Don't ever talk to your mum like that again. <laughs> Some mother. I know what you're all thinking. Well, my mates did it. I took a line at parties. But it weren't about that for me. As soon as I got on that course, I lost my confidence. I couldn't play anymore. Why? I wasn't good enough. I shouldn't have been there. Of course you should. You auditioned. They offered you a place. Performing's about in here. Y you know that. I get my guitar out, you know, lessons, gigs, whatever. And I, I'd, I'd think I was going to mess up. So I did. I would coax, silence that voice and, and made it yell, I, I, I rock, I, I, I can do this. It got so I couldn't play without it anymore. And of course I started using it for other things. Everything. I knew I was heading for a brick wall. But every time I tried to stop that, Fear, self-doubt came back twice as hard. I, I, I couldn't handle it. I don't think... I, I don't see the irony. I took coke so I could play him guitar. I ended up selling guitar to take coke. Come here. I'm such an idiot. I've, Throwing away everything. You're not, and you haven't. What have I got left? Got me. And me. Pathetic one in the corner. <laughs> I'm gonna help you through this, all right? On one condition. What? That you're honest. Right? No more lies. I need to go talk to the police. I knew we should have gone down there with him. We wanted to go on his own. Michelle, have you seen Robert? His phone's been switched off for ages. Uh, no, sorry. What he's done, runner. Two hours ago, you were the one saying he'd never lie. Yes, I know, when I was wrong, wasn't well, I? I meant what I said this morning. We're gonna have to start trusting him. Otherwise, there's no point in us doing this. Oh, great. So this is the emergency, is it? No. I missed my job interview because you wanted to take your slapper girlfriend out for a drink. I needed Steve's help. What for? None of your business. Oh, I'm afraid it is my business if it concerns the welfare of my daughter. Where the hell have you been? I can't hold up. That is not good enough, Rob. I want a decent explanation or that is it. I am sick of being messed about. Fine. I was with the police. Michelle's drug addict son tried to rob the factory and then accused me of assaulting him. Well, he must have done something right, otherwise you wouldn't be stood here. I spent two hours at the police station convinced I was going back to prison. Babe, I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, well, this just gets better. You are more concerned about some skanky crack addict than you are your own daughter. He's not a crackhead. Oh, well, can't say I blame him. With you as a mother, anybody would turn out twisted.
Was it something I said? Tracy is the cupid of hate. Her arrows are always aimed very well. Yeah, but it is my fault, though. Ryan said it too. It's lashing out. Steve, I'm the only parent he's got. I'd hardly give him a stable home life, have I? Well, what's a stable home life? Kids are just as long as they're loved, and you've always loved Ryan. Yeah. So how come he's turned out like this? What, a talented kid with a confidence issue? He's more than that. Well, not really. You know, I was much the same, not as talented baby. Play me in kazoo, mind you. I don't think I can deal with this, Steve. I said I want to be there for him. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to hold down a job and be there to keep an eye on him, be there when he needs me? I just... I don't think I can do this by myself. Well, I'll move in then. Well, I, I don't want to put you under any pressure. Michelle. I love you. Now what is all to be? You know, a family. Do you really mean that? And I don't just mean now, I mean like in six months or six years. <laughs> we'll have to ask Ryan first. Yeah. <laughs> hey! How did it go? Find me 80 quid for wasting police time, but that's all. Come here, man. Well done. It's a brave thing you did. You uh, sure you're all right with me moving in? Yes. Because if you're not, I can... I am. My mum deserves a good bloke. Reckon she might have finally found one. Hmm. Is that a level 42 CD? What's wrong with level 42? You won't be playing it, don't worry. Having a car boot sale? No, I'm uh, moving in with Michelle and Ryan. Congratulations. Thank you, Tracy. I'll see you around. Did I just hear her? I'm just um, keeping my powder dry. If they think I'm going to let them play happy families, they've got another thing coming. <laughs>